Problem number two. A film critic believes that the standard deviation of movie times is 21 minutes. She sampled eight films and found the standard deviation of times to be 20 minutes. Use a .05 significance level and the traditional method. So as I read the question, I saw the phrase believe. So that tells me this is where the claim is coming in. And it says the film critic believes that the standard deviation. So we'll be using sigma is 21 minutes. So I have sigma equals 21 minutes for my claim. And equal always goes with H naught, the null hypothesis. So my alternate hypothesis will be sigma not equal to 21, since we don't know if it's less than or greater than. It's just the opposite. Writing my pertinent information to the left, n is 8, s is 20, alpha is 0.05. Remember, sigma, whoops, sorry, alpha, the significance level, are the same thing. Now notice I say that s is 20, and the statement just said the standard deviation is 20. And it didn't say sample standard deviation. But it's in the sentence where the subject is the eight films she sampled. So she sampled eight films and she found the standard deviation. That standard deviation is about her sample. So it's a sample standard deviation, even if the phrase is just written standard deviation. Next, I want to find my test statistic. So using the formula chi squared equals, I've got 8 minus 1 times 20 squared quantity divided by 21 squared. On the calculator, I get 6.349, etc. And next, I go to find my critical value. I know I'm using the chi-squared table since my test statistics started off with chi-squared. In H1, I have the not equal to. Even though it's not the claim, we only look at the alternate hypothesis, H1, to know the type of test we have. And this is a two-tailed test, so we'll be finding two critical values. Chi-squared right, the easier critical value to find, will be in row 7 for degrees of freedom, n minus 1, and column alpha over 2. And since the significance level is alpha, I will have 0.05 divided by 2 for 0.025. So for that column, row 7, I see 16.013. Now I need to find chi-squared left. I'm still in row 7, and if I don't use the rainbow effect to get to the other column, then I'm going to do 1 minus alpha, the complement of the value I just found. So 1 minus 0.025 is 0.975. So in that column, row 7, I find 1.690. So let's go ahead and fill in our critical values. Oh, we never filled in our test statistic. Okay, our test statistic was 6.35 with rounding. My smaller critical value is 1.690, and my larger critical value is 16.013. Remember, for a two-tailed test, about the standard deviation, our two critical values are not plus or minus since we don't have negative values. Next, we need to decide whether we reject or fail to reject H0. So I draw my right skewed table. Starting at zero, I list my left critical value of 1.690. And since it's my left critical value, my critical region, my shading is to the left. Then I will do my right critical value and draw 16.013 to the right and shade to the right. Now I need to find where does my test statistic lie. And 6.35 is somewhere in between the numbers. It doesn't really matter where, other than it does not fall in a critical region. Therefore, I fail to reject H0. Since I fail to reject H0 and my claim is H not the null hypothesis, my statement starts off, there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that, and then I would read up above, the film critic believes that the standard deviation of movie times is 21 minutes. The standard deviation of movie times is 21 minutes, and that's all I really needed. Don't forget, I'm looking that you listed the population parameter standard deviation context, meaning what's the standard deviation measuring, and in this case it's movie times, 
the claim about that standard deviation, it is, and if you want to write is equal to, that's fine, and it is equal to what? 21 minutes.